hey guys so in this video we are going to be trying out the rare beauty discovery eyeshadow palette and this is what the palette looks like i just love how she did this palette how the company curated this palette whatever the case may be yes it is a simple palette it's very much something that could be worn every day but i just love how it was laid out on the inside and i just felt like it was really different from anything that i've seen not saying that there's nothing out there like it, but I've never seen it, so I wanted to purchase it. And because I didn't purchase the other palettes that she came out with because they were all shimmer, this one has a mixture of shimmer and uh, mattes. So because of that, I decided to purchase this one and not the other ones. But I'm excited to try it. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is the final eye look, which I really do love. I think it's adorable. It's very quick. It's very easy. Um, the formulation of the palette is very nice as well. It didn't take a lot. What I will say is that it is buildable, which I really do love as well. It's easy to build up but it's very hard to take away so some palettes they're so pigmented that you have to really be light-handed um with this one i guess what what i will say is that using a brush like this is as you can tell it's on a thicker side and because of how the palette is it could be it can be uh difficult to just stay in one color i didn't have a problem uh, with it but if you're quickly you know in a hurry it might be an issue like I said it wasn't an issue for me but just be mindful with that because of how the palette is laid out but with that being said I did not pick up so much I wasn't trying to pick up a whole bunch um, especially in the beginning I went very light um, with sticking um, with putting the brush inside the color but once again it is a very much buildable which of course to me I do like that aspect of it. I used this gold shimmer here, of course, on the lid. This was all over and in the um, outer portion of the eye. So crease and outer portion of the eye. Uh, this one I use on the outer parts just to diffuse the harshness uh, with this color here. And that was it. Now, the first eye, I did use this color to put in the middle part here. Can't really tell, um, especially because I don't really take the um, the base all the way out here anyway. So I'll probably need base in order to get this color to really show. But with that being said, taking this out, we used these three colors here, which is undeniable. And then we use passionate and what is this? Positive here. Now, the one in the middle here is genuine. 
the glitter shade in the middle and that is very much a glitter that is accepting the one next to it is loyal and the one out here is called pure but yeah i really do enjoy i did enjoy using this palette i love how the work that it came out with or the look that i um i did with this palette as you can tell on this eye if you can cannot tell if you can't tell i used eyeliner on this eye but nothing on this side so that you can get a better understanding what it will look like with each um each side so if you want to use eyeliner you're comfortable with eyeliner this is what that eye will look like if you're not comfortable with eyeliner and you struggle because i know when i started off i really struggled um and you don't want to mess up the eye look you can just leave it the way that it is and just go from there put mascara on and call it a day the mascara i used is the lancone lash idol i don't know how to say it but that is this one here that i used and that was it guys thank you so much for watching this video y'all let me know what y'all think about this palette i really do think it is cute i really do think that it is curated for an everyday look if you want to with little pops of color not that much little pop, well pops of shimmer let's say that pops of shimmer um but it's an everyday use of a palette for me um i could take this and probably use it all week and not really feel any type of way. I think the shimmers that they do have are really for everyday uses. You know, if you want a hint with a little bit of pinkish in it, you can. Something that shows really light. I can't tell you what the color is. I know it has pink in it as well. But just, of course, two different shades of pink. And if you want gold. Like, this is an everyday palette that is just is usable. It's user-friendly. Beginner-friendly. And I really do like that. But that is it, guys. So y'all let me know once again what you guys think about this video. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. Please do subscribe, like, and you're always welcome to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And until the next video, I will talk to you with a few different lovely people later. Bye, guys.